for him and God. David said, man, there's all kinds of people saying that God ain't going to help me. I'm hopeless. Verse 3. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Oh yes, David was troubled. David was full of cares. David's head was hanging low. But after talking it over with God, David was able to say, Lord, you're the lifter up of my head. I know it's going to be okay because you're with me. Amen. So take your worries, take your fears, your cares, and give them to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Number three, the last thing is this. Are you careful? Are you full of care? Or are you peaceful? Amen. Careful or peaceful? Full of care? Or are you full of peace? You and I have two choices. Look at your neighbor and say there's two choices. Full of care or full of peace. The choice is ours. As long as we carry those burdens around, we're going to live stressed out and wore out. Amen. Have you ever been so stressed out that all you wanted to do was sleep? I've been there before. Just cry. Yeah, I know. Life can be hard sometimes, huh? Amen. Life can be very emotional and gut-wrenching at times. It can hurt at times. Sometimes you just feel like it just punches you right in the gut. You think, what, where do I go from here? What, what now? Sometimes we can get so stressed out that all we want to do is sleep. You don't want to wake up. You don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to do anything because you're just too mentally exhausted. Let me tell you something. That's not the will of God for your life. Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If your peace has been stolen, if your joy has been killed, if your happiness, your your excitement for life has been destroyed. It wasn't God that did that. It was the devil that did that. Amen. The thief comes to do all of that. The thief comes to make it where you don't want to get out of bed. All you want to do is sleep all day. And no, I'm not talking about people that are just too lazy to work and all they want to do is sleep all day. <laughs> I'm talking about people that are genuinely depressed, people that are genuinely discouraged and distraught. They've gone through hard times. They've gone through a lot of pain and a lot of agony. And now sometimes like, I don't even want to get out of bed. Then I, I mean, of course, yes, I love the Lord, but I'm just finding myself. It is so difficult. I don't know where to go or what to do from here. Listen, Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. Oh yes, church, Jesus didn't come for us just to simply uh, get through life. Jesus came that we could walk through life saying, yea, though I walk through the shallow, shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Are you living that kind of life or are you living the defeated life. Are you careful? Are you careful? Are you full of care? Or are you full of peace? I want to be full of peace. Saying no matter what, I know my Redeemer lives. Amen. Oh, can we all stand to our feet this evening? Let's lift up our hands. Such a simple little message tonight. Y'all don't need nothing. All some deep theological thing. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not minimizing that, but I'm saying, man, sometimes we think, well, you got to tell me this. Man, I ain't telling you nothing new. I'm just telling you what you need to hear. Man, God came to give us life. Are you living that life or are you not? I want to live with the peace of God. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Key up G, man. We used to sing this song a lot on Baker Street. Just lift up your hands right now. Right now, God, I pray for everyone battling depression. Touch them with your peace tonight. Let's lift up our hands and say, I know my Redeemer lives. Yes, he does. The little creation. 
mean go play in the street. <laughs> I don't want you little ones playing tag on Roberts Lane. Pastor told me to be kidding, not to be careful. <laughs> be careful for nothing. Be careful. Does that make sense? I was hoping this made sense. <laughs> Don't be careful. All right. Praise your Lord. Pray that the Lord minister to you tonight. Touch you. Remember Wednesday night. Come expecting a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. All right. Uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful and grateful once again for this opportunity. Uh, God, that you have afforded us to come and to gather and to be together and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, I pray uh, for uh, our young people as they go to school. Keep your hands upon them. Keep them safe. Lord, I pray for uh, all those that are uh, traveling, that you would be with them. Sister uh, Debbie's going to be going out, I believe, this week to Missouri. Keep your hands upon her. Give her